Are we rolling? We're rolling. All right, we're gonna show you a foot video today. We've got how many? Three exercises? Yes. Maybe four, because I think I added Oh, one. and stretches, yeah. So we have some bonus exercises <laughs> as well um, that we're gonna show you that help keep your feet strong and flexible and help maintain balance and lots of other great things. Let's start with rock, paper, scissors All for right. your feet. For your feet. I think they need to see your face first, Molly. <laughs> Say hi, Hello. Molly. Okay, and then I'll hand it back to you. So rock, paper, scissors for your feet, or if you're so inclined, Rochambeau. <laughs> so here's rock and paper. Spread them out as far as you can. Get the rose petals off. Ah. And scissors. So the big oh, toes, the scissors is the hard one. Let's try to do it together. Big toes up. Big toes up. Other toes down. And then, and then big switch. toes down. Oh, left foot doesn't want to do it. Other toes up. So when I started doing this two weeks ago, I could not make this happen at yeah, all. So what I had to toys. do was put it down on the ground and literally lift my big toe and hold the other toes down oh, and then switch. And after two weeks of doing this, now I'm able to do it without assistance. Just show your scissors because mine, <laughs> <laughs> mine are struggling. Ah, there, there it goes. I'll keep doing it this way. Okay. So we're going to continue with one more round of that. So rock, paper, paper, scissors. Oh, I got it. Yes. Uh, left foot's confused. One more time. Rock. Why are we doing this, Lisa? This helps build strength in your feet, strength in your arches, spreading out, stretches out the muscles and gives a little space in the joints can also help uh, with balance which prevents things like especially in older folks falls right so doing this help keeps helps keep your feet mobile and strong and spacious beautiful so that's rock paper scissors for your feet oh, getting it getting it scissors <laughs> exercise two is gonna be you can get a towel or I have an exercise band here and you want to scrunch you want to pick it up or pick it up excellent scrunch other foot excellent and now it's time for number three we're going to stretch so Lisa's gonna hold hands with her feet. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, an excellent this way. This is a great mobility exercise. So you can hold hands with your feet just like you would hold hands with <laughs> another hand. It might be a little more challenging, but get one finger in between each toe. And then in the beginning, it can work to just kind of gently flex and point. And then over time, you can start actually making circles. So you're making a wrist circle and a full foot circle and a toe circle. You wanna go both directions. Notice one's gonna be easier, one's gonna be harder. And you always wanna end with the outward circle. So going, flexing the toes towards your shin and going out to the side and back to the midline. So let's do the other side. So holding hands with your feet. You might have to spread a couple toes out to get your fingers in there. Once you got them in, hunker down and then start just gently, a little flex and point actually feels really good and then if you want to go a little further you can start some circles so I'm circling my wrists so my toes circle circling my ankle I actually learned this from um, Alyssa Montayo is her last name she's a um, Olympic distance runner awesome yeah she holds records and stuff you know we ran together <laughs> no big deal <laughs> so I like so to do that. these exercises every morning um, but if you if we did them two or three times a week, I bet we'd still see a lot of benefits. Yeah, so definitely. enjoy happy practicing.